Righto, Taliota champs. Now, is this the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro killer? The M2 MacBook Pro and MacBook Air I'm talking about. This is the XPS 13 and the XPS 13 2-in-1. And we're going to learn about it today. What is it? Is it good enough to compete with the M2 MacBook Air? Well, let's have a look at its specs. I've got to say one thing. Without question, it's one of the sexiest laptops you're going to get. Look at the bezels. So small. No notch. I mean, Apple, come on. You, you've got to get to this and thinking that, you know, the MacBook Air in three years time is going to look like it does now, like the new one does. And pretty much in 2020, you know, XPS had a design like this with this, you know, minimal bezels there. And that's with a webcam and everything there. So the thing is, they look beautiful. If we have a look here, we can see 2.59 pounds or 1.17 kilos. So that's pretty good. We got 16 by 10. We got 90% P3 up to 4K plus. So that's good. If you want your 4K, you got it on this. Two Thunderbolts we have on this. We'll check out the specs in a sec here. 12th generation CPUs. And it's not just this X. XPS, there is an XPS 2 in 1, which is basically like a Surface now. That was very surprising to me. But anyway, these things are sexy. Let's get into the specs of it. Well, before that, they said improved camera. So, whatever, we'll have to find out how good that camera is. Express sign in with, you know, Windows Hello, etc. Now, let's have a look at the battery life claims here. And this is video playback. And that's what Apple done with theirs. Theirs was video playback as well. So, if we look here, up to 12 hours. I think that's good. Once you get over 10 hours, it's pretty much all day battery life. Now that is with the full HD and with the 4K plus, we're looking at around six, seven hours. So yeah, that is what it is. Of course, these come with Intel's 12th generation CPUs. So these are the U parts. I haven't seen these U parts yet. I'm going to test them out, but these are all the configs you can get. But if we have a look at the specs here and... Don't be misled by these specs. If we have a look here at the processors, yes, 12th generation. They're the U parts. So starting with 15 watts, okay? 10 cores. Now, I checked up on this CPU. It is only two performance cores. So eight of them are efficiency cores. The good thing is the efficiency cores are actually pretty powerful. So we'll have to wait and see how fast it is. Up to 32 gigs LPDDR5. So that's super fast RAM. We'll have a look at its internals in a sec, but I'm not sure that they're M.2s there. And if they are M.2s, they are the small M.2s. We'll look inside in a sec. Intel Iris Graphics, XE Graphics. We've gone through the displays. We get Dolby Vision, 45 watt power adapter. So that's just shows you how low powered these things are you used to have up to 65 watt power adapter so i guess these are a bit more efficient we've gone through the weight and thickness there two thunderbolts usb-c awesome 51 watt hour battery touch displays of course wi-fi 6e which is what you want bluetooth 5.2 hello apple so let's have a look at the internals here so we can see the fan there it's actually really surprising how small this motherboard is that's the whole motherboard there basically looks like some sort of vapor chamber maybe and here it is this is the whole motherboard and that's what i'm saying have a look i think that's the ssd there so i don't think you'll be swapping the ssd i think it's soldered how tiny is that motherboard wow that is just crazy. Getting another look at it here. Maybe you can pop that off and upgrade the storage. Not 100% sure, but, but here's the difference between the 9315 and the 9305. So yeah, you can see you can see the difference on the internals there. You sort of got a two fan setup compared to this one here, one fan setup. And yeah, cannot wait to get this in. Will it beat the new MacBook Air and MacBook Pro? Well, it's got some stiff competition there. But now let's have a look at the 2-in-1. Now the 2-in-1 is crazy because have a look at this. Let me select all these and let's just go through some of these. I don't know if I like it. I'm not 100% sold on this. It's sort of like a Surface or an iPad now. I don't know. I'll just prefer to have a keyboard that I fold over. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you prefer it like this? Because I have a Surface Pro 3 and one thing I don't like is the detachable keyboard. Putting the keyboard on all the time looks so much like an iPad. It has cellular. That's one good thing about it. Yeah, you get the idea. Sort of like a Surface, iPad, whatever you want to call it. XPS 2-in-1. So do you like the old one or new one? Let me know in the comments. It looks like it's got a beefy camera on the back there. I mean, it does look nice. Nice, of course, pen support, touch, all that sort of jazz. There you go. There's the camera. Yeah, it should be a good camera. Certainly looks the part, looks good. The pen goes on top, as you can probably see up there. Pen goes on top, so that's good. Now, one good thing, 5G, Wolf. 
there you can see pen goes on top there zero latency keyboard adjustable angles etc lightweight only adds 560 grams making a total productivity package of less than three pounds so with the keyboard three pounds 4k camera there 11 megapixels and we have a 1080p webcam stunning display 3k vivid colors 100% srgb let's have a look at the specs here and of course a 1250u as the higher end cpu so that's two performance cores eight efficiency cores up to 16 gigs all soldered in storage options up to one terabyte as i said before and it's three by two now okay so that's the same as the surface products 45 watt adapter doesn't say anything about the battery life there wi-fi 6 5g thunderbolts we've gone through that 49 watt hour batteries so it's going to have less battery than the xps 13 the normal one so i think you can work out the battery life there compared to the other one just have a quick look here and there's the specs of it there how thick it is how light it is starting at 1.6 pounds so 736 grams well you wouldn't even notice you had that slate starting weight 1.8 pounds so they're the different versions obviously different stuff inside different cooling probably but yeah that is it that is a big surprise to me do you think these can compete with the m2 max xps 13 xps 13 2 and 1 which one do you like uh catch you in the next one guys tally ho